so the mural is titled Who Shall Ascend Into the Hill. Um, and I really wanted it to be, it was incorporated with scripture, um, which is like based on the Psalms of like, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, those with clean hands and pure hearts. But the reason I chose that scripture, because it was, felt like a great parallel of who should get to live in Hilltop now. Now that we have, you know, better transportation or better grocery stores or better housing and better health care, you know, are we just going to push everybody out that was here or are we going to actually like make it better for the people who deserve to live here? There's 15 faces that are folks in the community specifically that are like hidden in there, but most of them it's a representation of spirit. Um, so if you were to put a face to peace, what would it look like? And so, I mean, like, these faces might be it, they might not be it, but for me, that's how I kind of code it. I've been doing murals since of the age of 12. Um, from that, I got a part of Fab Five as the organization, so I'm also, I work with Fab Five. Um, I work with the Design the Hill project. Um, apart from that, I'm just a freelancer. So in 2019, I was selected by Methune Architects um, and some of the board of Hilltop to help them design the exterior. We have seven affordable housing units going up through THA, and so this was one of them. They wanted um, pretty much to represent the community as much as possible within the design aspect. So they hired an artist to do a community engagement, which, which was me. Within every building, we wanted it to kind of tell a story as well. And um, my art uses color as a different way of encoding message. And so even within the faces in the mural, each color has a different meaning. And so um, the blue is kind of like the healing that's taking place in the community. And it has different, the blue, uh, purple is like the royalty, the value and the identity. The orange is the shifting that's happening. Then the, um, there's yellow and different colors and green for bringing peace and like hope and stuff like that. Um, and I have like a whole entire like encrypted key that has like meaning to every single color. Um, I really just wanted the colors to change and like value to be right next to each other. I didn't feel like I was pushing too much. I knew that a lot of the buildings that were going up were very gray, very boring, um, and the look of gentrification is something that we were going against. And so the look of gentrification is like a certain type of font, you know, a certain type of bricklaying, and it's traumatic to a lot of the community members to one, see some of the historic buildings go down, but to constantly see the same type of buildings go up. And so, I think my mission was how can I like, one, like bring hope, but two, inspire like the younger generation to know that they were part of something, but also bring a smile on the faces of to the older generation as well.